Can counting your strokes improve your timing? Find out next. Hi, this is Andrew Sheaf with Mastering Flow. I help triathletes identify the critical skills for fast swimming, and I provide them with the tools to learn those skills in any location. For a free eight-week tactical training program to help you get your skills on track, click on the link in the video description below. It's not just what you do, it's when you do it. In this series, we're discussing timing and the key to great timing, rotation. Great timing comes from rotating in the right amount at the right time. I'll show you how to do it. We're still focused on using performance goals to improve your timing. Last time we touched on the importance of speed. Now we're gonna discuss the value of using stroke counts to enhance learning. Counting your strokes quantifies how efficiently you're moving through the water. When you're improving your timing, it's pretty valuable information. Much like speed, counting your strokes provides you with concrete goals to shoot for. It confirms you're on track and allows you to course correct when you're not. As we'll see in the next few videos, fewer isn't always better. There are a lot of ways you can use stroke counts to improve your performance. And we're going to take a look at all of them. If you want to get started, just start counting. Don't worry about what the numbers are, just become aware. That alone will make a difference. What gets measured, gets managed. Check out the key takeaways for a summary of these concepts. To make sure you're notified when future videos are released, click on the subscribe button below, as well as the bell icon next to it. It really helps me spread the word about more effective swimming, and the more I can do so, the more videos, the more advice, and the more information I'll have for you.